Yo, what's good everybody? Today I'm going to talk about today's bullshit. I wouldn't even say the trade because I did good. I did my part. I was up profit. I was even up, what, like $28, right? In a moment, I tried to sell this stock. It would not allow me to get out. So I trade on Robinhood. Robinhood got a pattern day trade rule. So the rule is... If you don't have um, at least twenty five thousand dollars in your account, you're not allowed to make. You're not allowed to sell more than twice a day, right? So me, just taking a trade. I could have sworn before I sold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, twice in one day before, but I don't know what the hell happened. So they didn't let me sell twice today. So I got in the trade. I showed it to y'all. Boom! I was up profits. I was up profit. And then I tried to sell. They wouldn't let me get out. I'm like, ain't no way in hell, dog. So I ended up going right back up. I'm like, what the hell, man? But I'm not even mad because it's like I lost like $10, $12. And you know what I'm saying? Today, like, like I'm, I'll make that right back. Like, that ain't nothing. It's whatever. Like, you can't be butthurt about it. Like, if you take a loss, it got something to do with, like, the platform you trading on and stuff. Like, something you can't control, like what happened to me. And then don't be that mad about it. I mean, I now I'm more aware about it, so I know not to take, uh, not to sell twice, twice in one day. You know what I'm saying? But so what I had to do tomorrow is just sell and then get up out that trade and then not trade the rest of the day. So that way it levels everything out. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll get up Wednesday, trade and I sh and I'll be able to buy and sell in one day again. You know what I'm saying? That's all that happened. I mean, I did my part. Still, still, still a profitable trader. You know what I'm saying? Still learning. Uh, I came a long way, man. Sticking with my strategy. That's pretty much it, man. Like, that's all what happened. Uh, like I said, I just had to sell the more and then just, just chill. Like, you can't really be butthurt about that, though. Like, what I used to do was, if I if I lose a trade, no matter how I lost it, no matter how it happened, I would, I would try to revenge trade, make my money back. And it end up blowing my account or like just losing way more money than than what the hell I needed to. Right? Another problem I had was this ain't even that long ago to be real with y'all. Like I just started becoming consistent, profitable, like consistent. I just figured out how to make this shit work. Keep it real with y'all. Another thing is just get out. Like if you take a loss, if you could get out, just get out, man. Like don't sit there and just get out, all right? Um, and another thing is, uh, I might start training Forex. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, j I just might start training Forex because I don't like this, man. I want to be able to trade how many times I want to in a day. Like, usually I trade, like, one time a day. But the reason why this happened was because um, last week I ended up selling twice in one day. And that's why, I, like, it's added on to this week. Something like that. So, that's why they only allow me to buy and sell one time a day throughout, you know, throughout the whole week. So, and I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that until it was too late. So, that's pretty much about it, man. Uh, get out if you see you starting to lose. Unfortunately, I couldn't get out, but you know me, I'm gonna uh, make the money right back. So I'm not mad about it. I was low key kind of mad at Robin Hood, but at the same time. That's my that's on my part to know that to to know like you can't day trade for real on Robin Hood if you ain't a fucking millionaire. Twenty five thousand. Most people ain't got that. Like you gonna have to get funded or something. I ain't got twenty five thousand dollars, bro. I'm I'm sure I could grow my account to that eventually. But right now, nah, like I'm only starting with an eighty dollar account. Right now my account's sitting at like like two fifty or something like that. I only I only I only took like what, four fifty five trades including the one i ain't gonna even count the trade today i ain't gonna even count that because i won that trade technically i i won that trade so i only took four trades i'm i'm my account up like 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 250 dollars or something like that with an 80 dollar account so you gotta think about that i'm making a lot of profit in these trades and i'm picking great entries i'm entering at the right time and getting out at the right time now you ain't it ain't gonna be perfect but if i'm if, if i'm getting these big moves that's that should tell you something like I know what I'm doing, at least somewhat. Shoot, to me, I'm a better trader than what I expected. Like, I didn't expect me to be this good. Like, 
Last week, I started trading Wednesday. And I started making like $50 off an $80 account. I'm like, dang, I did not expect that. <laughs> like, I, 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 did, I didn't expect me to be as good as I was. And how I got there was it just took me to be more confident with my trading strategy. All I had to do was be more confident with myself in trading. It was that was it and tweak my little small mistakes find out what i'm doing wrong and that was it find out what you're doing wrong like you, you you'd be surprised it could be something real simple why you didn't take off for me it was, it was something real simple like just simply not getting out and then just simply not knowing when to enter the trade i figured them two things out that was it boom but yeah that's all i got for y'all in this vid man like i said i'm a little bit upset but I'm not trying to control nothing I can't control, right? You can't control what you can't control. So you just got to let it go. Uh, it ain't like we lost, but like we blew our account. We didn't really lose nothing. We'll be back up again Thursday. And then another thing, I, like you just be sitting there thinking about the charts. Like, man, I want to trade. I know I didn't know no more. I'm going to be looking at the charts. I want to trade so bad. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be wanting to trade so bad, man. But I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately. That's what I'm thinking about going to Forex. I could trade all I want. I already got me an account. I might just throw me like $100 in there right quick. Grow that or something. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've been going through stuff lately. Like, I ain't even got no car no more. Like, I was in a whole car accident. I can't even move around. I can't even go to the bank. Like, if I want to go to the bank, I got to ask somebody, like, to borrow their car and stuff to get money and all that. I don't got a bank card. My card, my bank didn't give me a card. So it's just hard to move around and stuff and, you know, like access money and all that. But it is what it is, man. Like right now, I'm not I'm not working no job or nothing. And, you know, I'm just making money in the stock market. Like I don't work no job um, right now. And I don't I don't plan on going back. So but that's pretty much I got. I don't know without where that just came from. But that's all I got for y'all in this vid, man. Y'all can like it if y'all want. Subscribe to my channel if y'all want. I'm going to start coming out with more videos, and I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like, even if I lose, I'm going to come out and make a video showing y'all my loss. Like, I'm real, bro. Like, that's one thing about me. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. So, peace, man. That's all I got for y'all. I'm out.